so I'm at a different angle right now. Please let me know which angle you like better. Um, if you like the angle from my older videos or this one, please let me know. But anyways, this video is going to be all about makeup brushes. Um, I'm basically going to just give you tons of tips on makeup brushes. I'm going to show you seven essential makeup brushes that are all you need to create an everyday makeup look. Um, I'm going to just give you tons of like care tips and like buying tips, like when you're at the store buying your makeup brushes. Um, just a ton of tips on makeup brushes and I hope this helps you guys if you're starting your makeup brush collection and you just need to know a little bit more about makeup brushes um, you're not sure which ones to pick you just need some help on them so I hope this helps you guys and let's so get we're started. Going to start with showing you guys the seven essential makeup brushes that you need um, you don't need like 20 or 30 makeup brushes in your collection which I have over 20 or 30 makeup brushes but that's just because I'm like obsessed with makeup. But you really only need seven essential makeup brushes to do your everyday makeup that you can pretty much do anything with. So I'm just going to get started and this is in no particular order. The first brush that you want to have is a foundation brush if you wear foundation. And there's a few different makeup brushes for foundation. Some women use sponges, like cosmetic sponges for their foundation which that is fine but if you invest in a really nice foundation brush you will see that using a foundation brush for your foundation makes it come out a lot more natural and it distributes the color a lot better than a sponge would so there's a few different foundation brushes but I have two here if you want a more fuller coverage if you have more to cover up on your face then I recommend getting a synthetic foundation brush like the MAC 190 um, you can also get these at like the drugstore and stuff like that, like not the MAC brand. Like I think Eco Tools has some foundation brushes like this. And I'm sure a ton of other brands sell synthetic foundation brushes. So this gives you a lot fuller coverage. And a little tip on using this brush, like rubbing it all around your face with the foundation, I recommend patting it. I don't know why, but when I pat it, it works a lot better than like rubbing it and stuff like that. So that's one of them. And if you want a more lighter coverage, then I recommend getting... Um, a stippling brush like this. This gives you an airbrushed finish and it doesn't give you as much coverage as this one would. So this is a stippling brush and you'll definitely know when you see these um, because it has the black bristles and then at the top it has the synthetic like white bristles at the top. So you just get the foundation on the back of your hand and then get it all in the bristles and then stipple it on your face. This is the Sigma SS 187 which you can get the MAC 187 um, or I'm sure some other brands sell these. This is a really good foundation brush. Both of these are great foundation brushes. The next brush you want to have is an all over eyeshadow color slash blending brush. Um, which it's just like a fluffy eyeshadow brush and it's not too dense. This is the MAC 217. This was my first eyeshadow brush from MAC. And this is great for applying color on the lid and it also works great for blending. So it's good for those two things. Um, you can just look, like even if you're at the drugstore, just look for an eyeshadow brush similar to this one that's fluffy but not really dense. So that's the second brush. The next brush you want to have is a crease brush, which looks like this. This is my favorite crease brush. Um, this is like $3. It's on CoastalSense.com and I love it. Um, it's super soft and crease brushes are basically like a tapered eyeshadow brush and they have the pointy tip at the end. So it's perfect for getting into your crease and in the outer corner. So that's what a crease brush is. I also have some more crease brushes. These are all from Coastal Scents and I love them all. So you can see they all have like the tapered tip. So they're great for getting into the crease. So, so you can get all of these on CoastalScents.com. They're super soft. Um, or you can just look at the drugstore or wherever you're at. The next brush you want to have is a flat liner brush, which this is just the one I have by me. And they just look like this. It's a flat eyeliner brush and it's angled at the tip. So you can use these for gel eyeliners, cream eyeliners. What I like to do is take like a regular pencil eyeliner and smudge it in my lash line and then dip this in some like black powder or black eyeshadow and then put it over the eyeliner to kind of set it and give it a smoky effect. So you can pretty much find these again anywhere. You can pretty much find every single one of these brushes wherever you are, like if it's a drugstore or Sephora or MAC or something like that. The next essential makeup brush you want to have is a spoolie brush, which looks like this. Um, 
Some of you guys probably have this brush and you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, I don't know, but there's a lot to do with this brush. I love this brush. Personally, this is one of my favorite makeup brushes because it's just kind of cool to me, I guess. But what you can do with this is after you apply mascara, if you have any clumps or your eyelashes are sticking together, you just run this through your eyelashes to take away the clumps. And also, a cool little tip with this brush is um, after you fill in your eyebrows or whatever, you can spray a little bit of hairspray on this and then comb it through your eyebrows, which is really cool. So it makes your eyebrows stay in place all day and it, you can kind of just throw it in your purse to touch up your mascara and your brows throughout the day. So this is a really cool brush. The next essential makeup brush you want to have is a blush brush, which a lot of women use the same brush for their powder and their blush, which they shouldn't do that. Because if you want your blush to come out natural looking and really distribute the color, you need to get a brush that was meant for blush and that was meant to go on the apples of your cheeks. This is the MAC 129 and it's fluffy but it's still a little bit tapered because it is meant to go on your cheeks. So this is my all-time favorite blush brush, and all you do is smile and find the apples of your cheeks and then work up to your hairline. So you need to make sure that you get a brush that was meant to go on the apples of your cheeks, because if you use a powder brush to apply blush, it's not going to come out that natural looking, and it's kind of just going to be all over your face and make you look like a clown. And the last brush that you need is a powder brush, which I don't really have like an original powder brush. Um, a powder brush is very similar to a blush brush like this one, but it's fluffier and it's not really tapered because it's just meant to be dusted on your face. But I don't really have a like original powder brush. I need to get one though. Um, I use a kabuki brush for my powder, so it's a lot more dense than a regular powder brush. So it's kind of your decision if you want a fluffy powder brush or you want something that is more dense. But keep in mind, if you have a fluffy powder brush, you have less chance of your powder looking cakey and looking like dirt. So if you have a kabuki brush, you need to be a little bit more careful with how much product you put onto it. Because if you put too much, then it's going to make it look very cakey. So that's kind of your decision. This is the MAC 182 Kabuki and I love it. It's super soft. And so if you're looking for a really nice kabuki brush, I recommend getting the MAC 182. Um, it's kind of expensive. It's like $45 or $50. But if you take good care of your brushes, they will last you forever. And another good kabuki brush, which is actually the one I used before my MAC one, is the Posh Kabuki brush. And it comes in a little leather case. So it looks like this. And it's actually softer than my MAC Kabuki brush, but the only thing is it's not as dense. Um, and I think this is like $45 on the Posh website, so it's like the same as the MAC one. But I got this at Kmart for like $12. So if you can get this brush for the price that I paid for it, I totally recommend getting it. So now that you guys know the 7 Essential Makeup Brushes, I'm going to go on to a few little tips and stuff like that for your makeup brushes. So if you're at the store or like, um, like MAC or Sephora or even the drugstore and you're in the makeup brush section and there's so many different brushes, you're just so overwhelmed, you don't know which one to get, which one is going to work good for you, a little test that I found pretty cool is you take a brush like at the store and you rub it against your skin and, and if it feels really scratchy and rough, do not get the brush, but if it feels really soft, then you can get the brush if you want it. And also another little test is you want to press a little bit harder and if you see a lot of bristles come off, like if you see it shedding a lot, then you don't want to get it. But if it doesn't shed at all or if it sheds maybe one hair, then that means it will probably work pretty good for you. Okay, and now for some like cleaning and care tips. So now if you're wondering when you should wash your brushes, you're not sure when to wash them, um, you know, you just have no clue. Um, if it's a brush that you use every single day like this one, I use my MAC 182 Kabuki every single day for my powder. So if it's a brush that you use every single day, you need to wash it at least once a week because you're constantly packing powder and product on it throughout the whole week. So it can actually damage it if you don't wash it when it needs to be washed. And if it's a brush that you use maybe once a week or very, very occasionally, then you can get away with washing it once every two weeks because, of course, you're not using it that much and you're not really packing that much product on it. 
And also if it's an eyeshadow brush like the MAC 217 and you use it like every single day and you use different colors on it every day, then I recommend spot cleaning it in between. So you can spot clean your brushes with this. This is the MAC brush cleanser. It doesn't have to be this one. I'm sure you can find brush cleansers everywhere. And I think you can even make your own brush cleanser, which is pretty cool. But I spot clean my eyeshadow brushes such as like my MAC 239 because I'm putting different colors on it every day and I don't want to like mix the colors and stuff like that. So I spot clean them in between like deep cleaning. So what I do is I take a little bit of this brush cleanser from MAC and I put it on a paper towel and then I just take my brush and I go back and forth and then it just takes the color out for me. So this works really well. And when you deep clean your brushes, I recommend using a brush cleanser or a very mild shampoo. I use baby shampoo to clean my brushes because it's a lot softer and sensitive. You don't want to use a straight up shampoo that you use for your hair because that can dry out your bristles. So that's it. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you if you're getting into buying makeup brushes and you needed some tips and help with that kind of stuff. Um, I just really wanted to let you guys know that it is super important to take care of your brushes because makeup brushes can be pretty expensive so you want to make sure that you get the right one and you take care of them. MAC brushes are a lot of money. MAC brushes are a huge investment but if you take care of them properly then they will last you um, a pretty long time. So it really is worth the investment and I hope this helped you guys. If you have a favorite makeup brush please leave it in the comments below because um, if other people watch this video, then you can give them ideas of some makeup brushes, and I'll read the comments, too. And if you have any tips on taking care of your brushes or stuff like that, you can leave that in the comments as well. So thank you all for watching. Bye, guys.